is I'm struck by the homeless history. Where it, it asks the question, where did you live before you came to? This is CCMP, right? And none, there's nobody here who's answered by saying my home. You know, was there an option given for people who, who came directly from home? I mean, did they, did, was there anybody here who had a private home? I don't know what the term is. Just one second. Who had a private home or who went from home to shelter? But there's a huge number who go to shelter to shelter, hospital to shelter, jail to shelter, uh, hotel to shelter. Do you know the question? There is a question whether you came from unsubsidized permanent housing. Where is that? This is a top entry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. But this is 4.9%? That's 4.9% in the CCNV. That would be 29% in John Young. That would be 17% in Open Door. So it's higher. So, so, it's, so it's higher when we go to the women's programs, which are exclusively women's programs. Then, and so what, what we have at CCNV are folks who are, how would, what, what does this tell us about people who are at CCNV and people who have had a longer history of homelessness and, and, and unstable housing, is that what it says? I, I think it says that we spend a lot, we spend a lot of city resources on people moving from hospitals to jails, to psychiatric wards, so to shelters, shelters, and back again. And, and I think it's important to say that, you know, permanent supportive housing or other subsidized permanent housing, people are leaving to go to shelter. They're staying out. So. I think one other dynamic that may complement that is men will have exhausted every alternative before they come here, so they left permanent housing, went to shelter, stayed at friends. It's not seem to be that way. Well, actually what I should point out to you is that there's a difference in how you get into these different shelters. With low barrier shelter, you, know, you, you can get in at a moment's notice. CCMB is not a low barrier shelter. And the way that I got in, because I'm a CCMB, I had to come down every day for five weeks and go to the window and ask them, do you have a bed, do you have a bed, do you have a bed? Finally, after five weeks, I got in. So that there's no other way for me to get in except to be coming from another shelter or from the streets. But that there, there, there is no way to just come in and just get in on the first day unless you're going to the hypothermia shelter you know, inside of CCNV during the hypothermia season. But if you come in through non-hypothermic you know, parts of the year, then you have to go through that process of just asking every day until they have a vacancy. So, so it doesn't work like no barrier shelter. Well, where, where were you for five weeks? The five uh, weeks that you came in? I, I was at Middle One East. 